embark on a poignant visual journey, capturing the final moments of Earth's lost inhabitants. The collection unveils the haunting beauty and tragic tales behind the last images ever taken of extinct animals. Witness the silent narratives of these vanished species, frozen in time as their images tell stories of biodiversity's irreversible decline. Woolly Mammoth Mammuthus primigenius in science, it's a Pleistocene Holocene wonder now extinct. It coincides with ancient humans who created it foraging, roaming northern Eurasia and North America among the great apes, and rooting for tools and art houses. These animals, which had hairy coats, small ears and tails, were well adapted to the ice period. Males were 2.67 to 3.49 meters in shoulder height and weighed 3.9 to 8.2 metric tons, while females measured 2.3 to 2.6 meters and 2.8 to 4 metric tons. By the end of the late Pleistocene, the woolly mammoth was in decline. The final populations on the continent went extinct about 10,000 years ago, but mammoth ivory remained a useful resource for humans. Despite extinction, the species might see revival, as proposed by a genome project in 2015, although current methods remain unfeasible. Quagga. A small group of plain zebra once roamed South Africa until they became extinct in the late 19th century due to hunting and intense habitat competition with domesticated animals. Originally thought to be a separate species, and later genetic analysis of this species confirmed its classification as a small plain zebra or ecological type. Typically around 257 centimeters long and 125 to 135 centimeters tall at the shoulder, quaggas were characterized by brown and white stripes mainly on the front part of the body with a horse-like appearance towards the rear. Their behavior, often gathered in herds of 30 to 50, was described as wild yet docile compared to other zebras. Once abundant in the Karoo of Cape Province and Southern Orange Free State, quaggas faced rapid decline post-European settlement. The last wild population vanished in 1878, and the last captive specimen died in Amsterdam on August 12, 1883. With just one known photograph of a live quagga and 23 skins in existence, Efforts like the Quagga Project aim to recreate its coat pattern through selective breeding with the genetically closest subspecies, Birchell's zebra, Carolina parakeet. Originally native to the eastern, midwest, and plains states of the United States, the bright neotropical parrot known by its scientific name, Conoropsis carolinensis, is now extinct. Meet the Carolina parakeet. Its diminutive stature, green body, yellow head, and reddish-orange face made it easy to identify as the only native parrot in its habitat. By the mid 19th century, it became rare, and the last confirmed wild sighting of the C. C. ludovicianus subspecies was in 1910. The species met its end in captivity, with the last known specimen named Incas perishing at the Cincinnati Zoo in 1918. The Carolina parakeet's extinction was declared in 1939. First noted in 1583 by Sir George Peckham, their presence was scientifically described by Mark Catesby in 1731. Known for Possibly being poisonous, the parakeet's closest living relatives include South American Aratinga parakeets, based on mitochondrial DNA studies, Seychelles giant tortoise. Also known as the Seychelles domed giant tortoise, it is a species of tortoise in the genus Aldebracalis. Originally discovered in the central granite islands of the Seychelles, it was hunted extensively by European sailors, leading to its presumed extinction in the 1840s, along with Arnold's giant tortoise, which inhabited the same islands. Recently rediscovered, there are now slightly over a hundred individuals some reintroduced but later evicted from forested islands like Silhouette in 2011 by the Seychelles Islands Development Company. Distinguished by its broad, flattened, brownish-gray carapace, the Seychelles giant tortoise differs from the true Aldabra giant tortoise. Reports note its omnivorous tendencies, including the hunting, killing, and eating of a naughty turn chick in 2021. These tortoises, among the planet's longest-lived creatures, can exceed 200 years, with Jonathan, a 192-year-old Seychelles giant tortoise, recognized as one of the oldest living terrestrial animals on Earth. Helena darter. Once a cherished sight in the skies of St. Helena, the St. Helena darter, or Sympetrum dilatatum, is now a memory declared extinct by the IUCN in 2021 after vanishing since 1962. It no longer inhabits its two previously known locations. 
the St. Helena darter, described in 1892, was one of the largest in the Sympetrum genus, reaching lengths of 30 to 36 millimeters. Limited records indicate its presence only on St. Helena Island, with the last specimen collected in October 1963. Despite being assessed as extinct due to the absence of systematic surveys since the last record, the IUCN categorizes it as data deficient instead of critically endangered, possibly extinct, due to insufficient recent exploration. The dragonfly's extinction underscores the importance of ongoing conservation efforts. Schomburg's deer. Scientifically known as Russervus Schomburgki, also known as Surf de Schomburg or Schomburg's deer, the now extinct small deer from central Thailand was first described in 1863. Initially, scientifically research ignored them to near extinction. Known mainly from anecdotal reports and few physical specimens, it closely resembled the Barasingha in appearance, but possessed notably large and complex antlers. These deer primarily inhabited open, swampy areas, but faced rapid population decline due to habitat loss and hunting. They were virtually extinct by the early 20th century. The last reported sighting of wild individuals was in 1932. The species was officially declared extinct in 2015. Despite limited knowledge of their behavior and ecology, it's believed they lived in female-led herds and fed on grasses and swamp vegetation, facing predation from tigers and leopards. The degradation of the species' habitat and human encroachment hindered conservation efforts. Caspian Tiger a population of Panthera tigris tigris previously covered a wide area, ranging from Central Asia, Northern Afghanistan, and the Xinjiang region of Western China, to Eastern Turkey, Northern Iran, and the Caucasus around the Caspian Sea. Historically, it also roamed southern Russia until the Middle Ages. This tiger favored sparse forests and riverine corridors until its extinction in the 1970s, classified as a distinct subspecies. Genetic analysis suggests a shared historical distribution with Siberian tigers until the early 19th century. Descriptions indicate that it was intermediate in size between Siberian and Bengal tigers. Taxonomic debates persisted with various proposed subspecies and genetic studies suggesting a close relationship between Caspian and Siberian tigers. Known for its vibrant fur, the Caspian tiger exhibited narrower, fuller stripes compared to Siberian tigers. Males reached lengths of 270 to 295 centimeters, ranking among the largest cat species. Exceptional individuals displayed even larger sizes, emphasizing their remarkable existence. Falkland Islands Wolf Dusician australis, also referred to as wara in scientific circles, was the only naturally occurring terrestrial mammal in the Falkland Islands. The terrible distinction of being the first canid to go extinct in recorded history belongs to this species, which has been extinct since 1876. Charles Darwin, who encountered the species in 1833, found it present in both West and East Falkland, but its numbers were rapidly declining due to hunting for fur and being perceived as a threat to sheep. The Falkland Islands wolf had a tawny fur with a white-tipped tail and likely preyed on ground-nesting birds, seal pups, insects, and scavenged along the seashore. The last recorded sighting in the wild was around 1932. In 1868, a live wolf was taken to the London Zoo, but efforts to preserve the species in captivity were unsuccessful, leaving only a dozen or so museum specimens today. Bali Tiger this subspecies of Javan tigers, Panthera tigris balika by scientific name, was nearly exterminated on the Indonesian island of Bali in the 1950s. It was reclassified under P.T. Sondaika in 2017 after being initially identified as Panthera tigris balika. Genetic analysis paints a picture of tigers venturing into the Sunda Islands some 11,000 to 12,000 years ago, braving the icy grip of the last glacial period. Yet, the memories of Bali's majestic tigers fade into the twilight of history, with the last sightings etched in the late 1930s, their presence perhaps lingering softly into the 1940s and 1950s. The population dwindled due to hunting and habitat conversion for human use. Known for its smaller size within the Sunda Islands, the Bali tiger's characteristics included narrow skulls and a tawny fur color. Habitat-wise, it thrived in western Bali's mangrove forests and savannas, likely preying on Javan Rusa. Extinction resulted from rampant hunting during the Dutch colonial period, with European sportsmen utilizing aggressive tactics and firearms. Tacopa Pupfish in the sun-scorched Mojave Desert of Inyo County, California, the Tacopa pupfish, a resilient variant of the Amargosa pupfish, teetered on the brink of oblivion circa 1979. Changes to its habitat, the intrusion of foreign species, and interbreeding with the Amargosa River pupfish spelled out its tragic demise. 
taxonomically belonging to Suprinodon, a diverse killifish genus in North America, the Tacopa pupfish was part of the Suprinodontidae family. First described by Robert Rush Miller in 1948, it shared the region with other Suprinodon species, like the Death Valley pupfish and Devil's Hole pupfish. Measuring 1 to 1.5 inches, the males displayed bright blue hues during breeding. Cyanobacteria formed their primary diet, and survival in water temperatures exceeding 110 degrees Fahrenheit showcased their adaptability. Madeiran Large White Butterfly Once a resident of the Macaronesian island of Madeira, the Madeiran Large White Butterfly saw its last confirmed sighting in 1986, although some sources list 1977. Despite efforts to locate living specimens since the late 1980s, all attempts proved unsuccessful. Endemic to the laurel forests in the north exposed valleys of Madeira, where nectar-rich plants and preferred crucifers thrived, this butterfly's extinction was hastened by habitat decline and the introduction of the small white butterfly, Pieris rapai, in the 1970s, potentially causing a virus outbreak. Described in 1882, the Madeiran large white boasted wings 67 to 72 millimeters wide, predominantly white with dark tips and spots, with females exhibiting a more yellowish hue and additional spots. Caterpillars, green with black lumps and yellow stripes produced several generations annually from March to late October. Pohuli. Scientifically known as Melamprosops feasoma and colloquially referred to as the black-faced honeycreeper, the Pohuli was originally native to Maui, Hawaii, and encountered imminent threats of extinction. Discovered in 1973, it represented the sole species in its genus. With a black head, brown upperparts, and pale gray underparts, the Pohuli's population dwindled rapidly, prompting conservation efforts. Originally believed to consist of 100 to 200 individuals, the population experienced a drastic decline of over 90% within 10 years. By 1997, only three were known. In a breeding attempt, a captured male died in 2004, leaving uncertainty about the remaining two bird sexes. Extensive surveys since 2004 failed to locate any Pohuli, leading to a probable extinction. Various factors, including habitat loss, diseases, and invasive species, contributed to their decline. Booble hartebeest, also known as the northern hartebeest, or booble antelope, is an extinct subspecies of hartebeest, Alcelephus bacelephus, native to regions north of the Sahara Desert. While other hartebeest subspecies still inhabit grasslands south of the Sahara, the booble hartebeest is now extinct. Historically, it roamed from Morocco to Egypt, with mentions in ancient texts by authors like Herodotus and Dio Cassius. Described as uniformly sand-colored with black tail tufts, it resembled the Lelwell hartebeest and measured about 43 inches at the shoulder. Social animals, they congregated in herds of up to 200 individuals and preferred rocky areas with vegetation. The Booble hartebeest faced a rapid decline in the 19th century, exacerbated by colonial hunting and habitat loss. The last known herd was spotted in Morocco in 1917, and the last individual was shot in 1925. Protected under the London Convention of 1933, its extinction marked the loss of a once iconic species in North Africa, golden toad. Once plentiful near Monte Verde, the golden toad, scientifically known as Encilius peregrines, vanished, leaving a stark reminder of amphibian decline. Described by herpetologist Jay Savage in 1966, this true toad's last sighting was a lone male on May 15, 1989, leading to its classification as extinct by the IUCN. Belonging to the family Bufonidae, the males flaunted vibrant orange hues, while the females displayed various colors. The golden toad thrived in moist burrows during the dry season, with an average lifespan similar to other Bufonidae species, 10 to 12 years. Inhabiting Costa Rica's Monteverde Cloud Forest Reserve, particularly the Brillante Ridge, the golden toad favored cold, wet environments. Breeding explosively during heavy rains from March to June, they faced a severe decline by 1988. Breeding in rainwater pools, males gathered in large numbers, engaging in amplexus with females. The mating season, vital for their survival, witnessed dramatic male-female ratios with intense competition and distinctive mating rituals. Pinta Island Tortuas a unique tortoise from Pinta Island in Ecuador, called the Pinta Island tortoise or Chelonoidus niger abingdoni, is sadly no longer around. Its disappearance leave an indelible mark on biodiversity conservation. 
Described by Albert Gunther in 1877, this subspecies faced rapid decimation due to hunting by the end of the 19th century. The surviving iconic individual, Lonesome George, a male found in 1971, became the last of his kind. Belonging to a group of 15 subspecies, Pintha tortoises were an integral part of the Galapagos tortoise family. Gunther's initial classification led to subsequent synonyms such as Testudo abingdoni and Geochelone elephantopus abingdoni. Evolutionary mysteries surrounded Galapagos tortoises, captivating even Charles Darwin. DNA sequencing suggested South American relatives. The tortoises, herbivores shaping the island ecosystem, significantly influenced seed dispersal and nutrient cycling. Pyrenean Ibex Known lovingly as Bucardo, the Pyrenean Ibex was a treasured member of the Iberian Ibex family, living in the gorgeous Pyrenees. The Pyrenean Ibex, which thrived in the Cantabrian Mountains, southern France, and the northern Pyrenees, met its demise in January 2000 with the death of its last member, a gentle soul named Celia. Despite the heartbreak, hope flickered anew when in July 2003, a cloned Pyrenean Ibex entered the world, offering a glimpse of revival. However, this beacon of hope faded tragically, soon as the newborn, plagued by unforeseen lung issues, left us within moments of its arrival. The Pyrenean Ibex remains a unique case, being the only animal ever brought back from extinction, yet also the only one to face extinction twice. The reasons for its initial decline, including competition with other species and overgrazing, continue to be subjects of scientific investigation. Syrian Wild Ass The Syrian Wild Ass, also known as Hamippi or Syrian Onager, was a now extinct subspecies native to the Arabian Peninsula and surrounding regions. Standing at one meter tall, it was the smallest equine and boasted an untamable nature. Its coat, changing with the seasons, exhibited a tawny olive hue in summer and a pale sandy yellow in winter. The species thrived in deserts, arid grasslands, and mountain steppes of West Asia, ranging from Israel and Palestine to Jordan and Turkey. Facing threats from predators like lions and bears, the Syrian wild ass played a role in human history. Although not domesticated, a hybrid, the Kunga, emerged in Syria and Mesopotamia. The species faced a decline in the 18th and 19th centuries due to overhunting, culminating in the last known wild specimen's demise in 1927 in Jordan. Caribbean Monk Seal A majestic inhabitant of the Caribbean waters, the monk seal, also known as the West Indian seal, believed to have disappeared due to overhunting for oil and meat, as well as the depletion of their natural prey through overfishing. Predators like great whites and tiger sharks alongside humans proved fatal for these seals. The last confirmed sighting was in 1952, and 2008, the United States officially declared the species extinct after a thorough search. Caribbean monk seals were characterized by their large, robust bodies, reaching up to 2.4 meters in length, with distinctive features like broad muzzles and wide-spaced eyes. Historical records suggested social groupings and a diet comprising fish and crustaceans. Despite a captive specimen in the New York Aquarium, the species faced a decline in the 20th century, leading to their eventual extinction. Its last photograph signifies the loss of a unique marine species, smooth handfish. The smooth handfish with the scientific name Symptericthes unipennis, potentially extinct, once inhabited the waters off Tasmania, particularly the D'Entrecasteaux Channel. In 2020, it was declared extinct by the IUCN Red List, becoming the first entirely marine fish with such a classification. Francois Perron's 1802 survey of Australia documented this handfish, with the only known specimen caught with a dipnet. The species likely faced extinction due to intensive scallop and oyster harvesting in the 19th to mid-20th centuries, damaging critical habitat. In a surprising turn in September 2021, the IUCN Red List changed its status to data deficient, questioning the thoroughness of surveys. Uncertainties surround its extinction timeline, emphasizing the need for conservation efforts. The last photograph of the smooth handfish serves as a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between human activities and the survival of unique marine species. Formosan Clouded Leopard Taiwan's unique clouded leopard, once a hidden gem in its forests, is now gone forever. 
its habitat lost to the roar of chainsaws. Described in 1862, it had a pale to tawny fur with distinctive cloud-like markings on its shoulders. The last confirmed sighting was in 1989, with an interview survey in 1986 reporting a sighting in 1983. Efforts to locate the species involved extensive camera trapping surveys between 1997 and 2012, covering various habitats across Taiwan, including the Tawu Mountain Nature Reserve. Despite these efforts, no clouded leopards were recorded, leading to their presumed extirpation. Alleged sightings in 2018 were unverified. Cultural significance among the Rukai and Paiwan people reflected respect for the clouded leopard, but it couldn't prevent the species from becoming the last photo of an extinct animal, emphasizing the impact of human activities on biodiversity. In the melancholic gallery of the last photos of extinct animals, each frame encapsulates a silent farewell to biodiversity lost. May these poignant images serve as a poignant reminder of our shared responsibility to preserve and protect the fragile tapestry of life. Subscribe for more ecological insights. Thank you for cherishing our planet's irreplaceable treasures.